on Steel City TV here. My name is Jim Mamata, being joined by Ken Cole. It is the finals of the Futures Cup Tournament. In the ring right now, Joey Vengeance, Drake Braddock. Graham Wellington earned a two-minute bye by winning his previous matchup in the fastest time. On their way to get here, it was Drake Braddock defeating Joshua Singh. It was Joey Vengeance defeating Brian Bowers. And then Graham Wellington defeated M.V. Young. It is a triple threat matchup. One fall to, to determine a winner. In this main event matchup in the Futures Division, Ken, I have to ask, we have seen a lot of rough and tumble action between all three competitors that will be involved in this Futures Cup matchup. Right now, as things stand, who is your pick to walk out this hour with the Futures Cup? Wellington, I mean, that's, a, that's a surefire bet because look at the way here. That's what, thing, though, what happens if the pimple happens when Graham gets in there? I'm assuming then we would continue in a traditional elimination matchup. <laughs> Textbook vertical suplex from Vengeance. Beautiful transitions. Going for the third one? Vengeance is so smooth inside the squared circle. No. Braddock tried to block the third one. Vengeance using his power. And early on, the bullet catcher is taking a beating. But the man that served his country in the Iraqi war is ready for battle. He's ready for combat here this hour. Jim, I know we've talked about other schools on the high school. Let's not forget, Steve Braddock is a graduate of the Peter Rexford College. Yes, very true. We've seen several young competitors come in from the Burrow Barbell Gym, the Matt Justice Run Academy. But Drake Braddock is a graduate of the PWX Academy. How apropos would it be if the war hero could walk out Futures Cup champion? Nice German suplex. Yeah, gut wrench style that time. No bridge, all impact. And Braddock looks to follow up. Wait a minute, right now the third contender for the PWX Futures Cup title, Graham Wellington. Wellington picked his spot, and he just launched Braddock into a lariat from Vengeance. Your pick is looking like a very good choice right now, Ken. seen Braddock with those trademark X's on his chest to symbolize combat, but he may have several more marks on his torso by the time this one is over. Of course, Cassidy Stone, the previous Futures Cup champion, broke his hand in three places, which brings us to this tournament final. Who will rule the Futures division? Jim, I don't know if Graham and Maybe there's going to be some type of alliance here to try to eliminate the bullet catcher, but it's one fall to a finish. Yeah, it's one fall. You can't really trust anybody here, Jim. I don't know if I would trust Vengeance or Wellington regardless. Not Wellington I would trust. Vengeance, he's a Cleveland, so you, you just don't trust him. And now some improvised offense from Vengeance and Wellington. Yeah. 
And there we're seeing it. Vengeance doesn't want to allow Wellington to get the pin. Yeah, so much for working together. And likewise, Wellington isn't going to let Vengeance walk out of here with the cup. The Harvard graduate and the proud Cleveland native having a little dysfunction. You're going to tell me a Harvard graduate can't outsmart somebody from Cleveland? They absolutely can, but I'm saying a Harvard graduate talking to someone from Cleveland is like a nun talking to an adult entertainer. It just doesn't make any sense. But they are taking it to Drake Braddock right now. Drake Braddock is at a height disadvantage and a weight disadvantage. And it's two on one. The bullet catcher, not in a good way right now. Look at Wellington just muscling him up. Power slam. And there's some defiance from the bullet catcher. And look at Vengeance just toying with Braddock. Buckle bomb to the bullet catcher, and it may be a batter of time here. Running Mafia kick to the face. And Vengeance, insult to injury, was toying with Braddock before he chucked him into those those buckles, which are, have steel bolts behind those pads, by the way. I think we're at the point where you just throw out uh, Braddock and, and fight it out against each other for those Well, he chucked Braddock into that corner. Braddock hit very awkwardly and very, very hard. Beautiful leg warrior from Wellington. And I have to think if, if Vengeance wasn't there to break it up, that one, that, this has to be over. Braddock has sustained so much punishment. As I said, he's at a height disadvantage and a weight disadvantage, but he may have the biggest heart inside the squared circle right now. And Jim, you can't measure heart. The more these two guys take time to argue, it's the time they get Braddock time to recover every time they do that. Elevated knee drop right into the sternum of the bullet catcher. And Sean Patrick may uh, want to think about if he, if he has the authority eliminating Braddock from this equation. Somehow, he's trying to fight back, but he just he's overmatched here. And the last thing we want to see in this Futures Cup matchup is to see a, a promising career potentially cut short. And here we go. And again, Wellington and Vengeance having some problems. Giving Braddock a chance to recover. And where is Drake Braddock going? Crossbody takes out everybody. Shotgun drop kicks. Where is the bullet catcher getting the strength? Drake Braddock is pouring his heart out inside of the PWX squared circle right now. He's showing how much he wants to cut, Jim. The martial arts instructor is digging as far down in the playbook as he can. But the odds seem to be just too much. TKO? 
He hit it absolutely perfectly. And I believe Graham Wellington going to walk out of here. The new Futures Cup. I spoke too soon, Ken. Sure did. And now this alliance is completely dissolved. Wait, you knew it had to be at some point. You knew it had to be. Vengeance avoids Wellington. Wellington didn't avoid vengeance. And there's that trademark kick of the bullet catcher. Does Braddock have the strength? Does he have the energy? We know he has the will. We know he has the desire. But can he do it? Can his body do it? Swat down onto everybody. That was pretty far across the ring. Look at the leg. He got it. Drake Braddock got it. Unbelievable. Time to match, 10 minutes, 45 seconds. Your new PWX Futures Cup holder, Drake Braddock! The martial arts expert, the Iraqi war veteran, the bullet catcher, Drake Braddock, is the future.